China's reach in the U.S. is growing. Some are selling out, while others stand up. Hi, welcome to China Censored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. After all the scandal with the NBA selling out to China, I've decided to start a new segment looking at who's standing up or backing down when faced with the Communist Party's demands. I'm calling it Sellout or No Sellout. League of Legends is the most popular PC game in the world. It was developed by the U.S. company Riot Games, but in 2015, it was bought by the Chinese company Tencent. Users on Reddit discovered the game appeared to forbid users from changing their status message to certain words, including Uyghur. Uyghurs are the mostly Muslim ethnic minority in Western China. The Chinese Communist Party has been putting them in concentration camps. Riot Games responded to the controversy by saying they fixed the error. But words such as genocide and Tiananmen in simplified Chinese and Great Firewall, which refers to China's blocking of foreign websites, still seem to get weeded out. League of Legends, what a sellout. Next up, Blizzard. Blizzard got in the hot water recently for banning a Hong Kong player for supporting the protests during a competition of the Blizzard game Hearthstone. After a global call for a Blizzard boycott, the company decided the best way to do damage control was to ban more players for supporting the Hong Kong protests. You can see here in the lower corner the players holding a sign saying, Free Hong Kong, Boycott Blizz. Surely banning these players will end the call to boycott Blizzard, which remains a huge sellout. Next up, Apple CEO Tim Cook. Apparently, Apple and Tim Cook have been so widely criticized for selling out to China that even AOC and Ted Cruz are in agreement on it. Which proves climate change is real, because hell just froze over. Apple faced a wave of criticism earlier this month when it removed a crowdsourced map of Hong Kong police presence from the App Store that was used by pro-democracy protesters. But just to show where Tim Cook's interests really lie, he joined the advisory board of one of China's most prestigious universities. Tim Cook, proving that Apple is great at selling. Out. Next up, Quentin Tarantino. His latest film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, was banned in China. That's a big deal, because the China market means hundreds of millions of dollars in ticket sales. But Tarantino says he won't censor his movie to get into China. Tarantino is no sellout. Moving on to Magic the Gathering. Like the video games Blizzard produces, Magic the Gathering has professional tournaments. And like the Blizzard Hearthstone games, one of the players used the platform to talk about the Hong Kong protests. And he wasn't banned. Amazing, not banning a player for having independent thoughts. Honestly, finding a US company that won't sell out to China these days is about as easy as finding a Black Lotus card. I'm kidding, I, I have no idea what that means. I, I've never played Magic. But I do know that Magic is not for sellouts. And finally, basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal. He had this to say about the NBA controversy. We as American people, we do a lot of business in China, and they know and understand our values, and we understand their values. And one of our best values here in America is free speech. We're allowed to say what we want to say, and we're allowed to speak up about injustices, and that's just how it goes. Daryl Morey was right. Whenever you see something wrong going on anywhere in the world, you should have the right to say, that's not right. Shaq attack. Now, while he doesn't play for the NBA anymore, Shaq does have endorsement deals in China. So he's putting his money where his mouth is. And Shaq is no sellout. Thanks for playing this edition of Sellout or No Sellout. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored.